Hey ladies, this is Tequila again with day three and four of my hysterectomy recovery. I'm coming to you with two days worth because yesterday, um, I don't know, got sidetracked and I didn't do a video. If you haven't watched from the beginning, I recommend going back to day one. There will be a link down in the comment section, below the comment section, <clears throat> excuse me, in the description box for you to check it out from the beginning. So, um, last night I decided that it would be beneficial to sleep on my stomach for a while. And when I woke up, I was in a lot of pain. So that was not a good decision. So I had to um, quickly get some breakfast in my stomach and take my pain meds. So uh, needless to say, I won't be trying that again. Um, I'll see what else I wanted to share with you guys. Constipation, very real today. Um, I was in the bathroom for longer than I wanted to be today. And I had my DIY fruit and vegetable juice for right before I went in. So I don't think it had time to kick in that quickly. I'm not looking forward to another day like that tomorrow. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if I need to drink another glass tonight or early in the morning. The glass I had was about, well, eh, this tall, filled to the top with stuff like spinach and uh, peaches and all kind of stuff like that. And um, what do you call that stuff? Is it spiritine? Spirulina. Yeah, spirulina. That as well. But again, that did not help me out today because I didn't drink it um, well enough in advance of my little trip to the bathroom. So um, needless today, my day kind of started off on the wrong foot. I've been laying around a lot, sleeping, because I just, you know, either I, I was in pain or I just felt like uh, zapped from being in pain. Um, trying to think what else I want to share with you guys. Um, I've been feeling like more twinges of pain in my abdomen and I don't know if that is due to the staples or if it's due to the, um, the beginning of the healing process going on on the inside of my stomach. Um, it's just like little short sharp, sharp pains. So I go tomorrow to get my staples removed. I'm gonna you know, probably ask the doctor about it. I don't have a fever or anything, so I'm sure it's not infection. Plus, I've been taking my antibiotics faithfully. So, um, tomorrow, when I go into the doctor's office, I'm going to try, it's my plan, to, um, to shoot a little footage of maybe one staple being taken out so that you can see what that process is like. Um, I had a, two C-sections before. My mom said I had staples before, but I don't remember them. But then again, I guess I did because I do remember having Steri strips before. So um, the process obviously wasn't too bad. I forgot about how I felt. I did go to the doctor yesterday. I had my staples removed. I'm going to show you some footage of that. So if you are a little bit queasy, you probably are not going to want to watch. It was nothing gross, but it's just, you know, the staples were being removed.
So yesterday, um, let's see how I felt yesterday. Yesterday I think I was okay, except for when I went in, um, the nurse took the staples out, the doctor came in to talk to me, and I was telling the doctor I still had that issue with that strange sensation that felt like I was, like I had to pee real bad, but it felt like that, like probably directly after I left the office. And then, you know how it is when you talk about things, they seem to get worse. So I talked to my mom and I was telling her, she was like, you know what, that might be a UTI. And I was like, yeah, you know, you know what? It might be. <laughs> and I swear that the sensation got stronger. And so I ended up calling the nurse back. Um, of course, you know how that goes with busy doctor's offices. I didn't get in contact with her. Um, she called me back and I didn't answer because it was an unknown number. We played phone tag. So I called her, or she called, I called her this morning and she called me back. So we did speak today. And she said that um, I had to come back to the office to do a P test so they can send it off and see if there are any bacteria in there that causes UTI. Well, I was just in the doctor's office yesterday. So really, like I don't feel like going out. So um, I was supposed to go back before they closed and I did not make it. Um, today, I've been feeling a lot better. I haven't really felt that sensation, but I noticed that if I take my pain meds, I don't feel the sensation. But I haven't been taking a lot of pain meds today and I still really haven't felt it. So maybe it was just as the doctor said, it was just um, I have to give more time for my bladder to settle and to, um, you know, just to readjust because I've been feeling pretty good today. Um, like Ice Cube said, today was a good day. <laughs> So um, I did get a lot of rest and I've been feeling, you know, pretty good, not 100%. I wouldn't even say that I'm 80, but I'm getting there. So um, if you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, feel free to share um, with us below in the comment box. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to say. I, I can say I feel better without those staples in my stomach because they were starting to pull a little bit. But the doctor, um, well the nurse put steri strips on them, the incisions after that. And I've I just been feeling like freer in that area. And I'm, I'm pretty good. So that's all that I have to report. I'll be back tomorrow with day five of my recovery. I'm gonna go all the way up to seven days. So I'll talk to you girls later. See ya. And as always, thank you for watching. And if this video is beneficial to someone you know, don't forget to share and publish. Not publish. Some <laughs> medicine talking. Don't forget to subscribe. There we go. Talk to y'all later.